As California enters its fourth year of a historic drought, access to water is diminished, but the demand continues to increase. Urban centers have been rerouting water sources in order to meet their needs. What happens to those places where water is taken away? We visited an area of California that is facing an environmental disaster as a result of water being diverted. Collapse of this region could mean death for wildlife and nearby residents. The Imperial Valley is one of the most productive agricultural regions in California. 90% of our winter produce comes from here. But this region also uses 75% of California's allotment from the Colorado River. In 2003, an agreement called the QSA allowed San Diego County the right to buy a certain amount of water from the Imperial Valley each year. In exchange, the farmers would use the money to upgrade their irrigation systems and create more water efficiency. Everyone wins, right? Not quite. Caught between the farmers and the cities is this place, the Salton Sea. So we just arrived at the Salton Sea in Southern California. Before 1905, this was all dry, but due to a man-made irrigation disaster, fresh water from the Colorado River started flooding in and it filled up this massive lake. The lake became a major destination, but as the ecology of the lake changed, fish died out and resort towns turned to ghost towns. Today, another massive change is about to take place. Longtime residents Eddie and Alan skate by the sea every day. They've witnessed the changes. The water used to be high up to where those poles are at, and at least like 10 feet of water are gone. The Salton Sea stays full from water that runs off of agricultural fields. But because of the QSA, farmers are using less water. With less water draining into the sea, the shoreline is expected to shrink more, a whole lot more. We are scheduled to deliver mitigation water um, until 2017. When we stop delivering mitigation water, the elevation of the Salton Sea will start to rapidly decrease. Should we care if the Salton Sea dries up? Well, as it turns out, yes, for a few major reasons. So these are black rail calls. There have been over 420 species of birds documented here. Most of the birds that use the Salton Sea are migratory birds. Salton Sea is a very important stop on the flyway for them. There's a limited amount of nesting habitat for birds, and the Salton Sea receded, and now predators can just walk out there. Something needs to be done. There's a limited amount of water. There's always going to be a conflict. And so when you talk about restoring or saving the Salton Sea, everyone asks why. 95% of the wetlands in California are gone. We can't really afford to lose too many more. Some species could take such a hit on their overall population that they could become endangered or even extinct. That's bad, but it actually gets worse. When the wind blows, you can see just clouds of dust being picked up off this playa. So that's all dust? Um, yeah, off the horizon, that is all dust. A hundred plus years of farming contaminants have settled on the lake bed. Now that the lake is drying out, those contaminants are getting kicked into the air. River water coming in is already salty. Our ground has some salt content. If you add more salt on top of that ground, all of a sudden you have a piece of ground that's not farmable. So there's a lot of issues with that exposed salt playa that needs to get taken care of. It could be an environmental disaster. The dust could also mean death for those that live nearby. In the last three years, we have seen three kids die. It was very hard for us. As the director of the asthma program, Ida is on the front lines of an epidemic. Imperial County has the highest rates of asthma in the state. We get faxes every day. This is one of the ones from a doctor's private office, Clinica Salud del Pueblo, Valley Family Care Center. Ida gets about 860 referrals a year. With a staff of three, they're already struggling to meet the community's needs. We just don't have the resources. Once this sea dries out, you know, you're going to have a lot of people getting sick. You would think, you know, by now, someone should have done something. I started to wonder, did any of the government officials have plans to mitigate this impending disaster? When the QSA was signed over, I believe, 10 years ago, the state of California said they would take care of the sea. The state of California's plan to restore the Salton Sea is a $9 billion plan, which is really an unfeasible plan. There has to be um, additional water that is just currently not available, especially with the drought. So we have a huge issue of trying to figure out who's going to take care of the Salton Sea. Knowing the potential human cost of the Salton Sea drying out, should San Diego and neighboring counties end their water transfer? To the extent that we would stop the transfer, uh, that's, that's very unlikely. If not for the QSA, 
uh, we would be much worse off than we are all right now. So where do we go from here? Should residents living near the Salton Sea have to sacrifice their health so that cities can have more water? Should tax dollars be prioritized for restoration? According to a report by the Pacific Institute, the costs of a deteriorating Salton Sea could approach $29 billion, well in excess of the state's original plan. Everyone can agree that a realistic plan is crucial. We can only hope that those in charge arrive at a viable solution before it's too late. Thank <laughs> you.